Greetings, God of Gold is back with another video for you today. Now, today's video is part two of my new tutorial series for modding Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, I will eventually get to coding soon, but for now, today I'm going to be focusing on what I promised is focus icons. Now, as you can see here, here are some examples of many different icons that I've made. Some fictional, some realistic. But I thought I'd experiment a little bit as time went on just to give a good example of some good cases that you could utilize to your advantage, as well as certain detail aspects. Like, for example, one of my best icons that I made is this execution one. Now, the sizes can vary, but this actually does work. Now, I know it looks a little violent for some taste, but you don't exactly have to go for this. You can go for Empire Prevails, which is a British one. You could do a Social Democratic one. You can do a Monarchy. You could do a Religious one. Uh, you can do Fictional, like I did right here. Now, I, I don't have the PSD for it, but I'll just show you anyway. This is Project Shadow, based off of that trailer that we, that some of you probably seen. If you haven't seen, I would advise checking it out. It is pretty cool, it, unless if you're not a Sonic person, that's okay too. Um, but let's get back to the task at hand. So I'm gonna pull out this focus template as an example for what we are gonna make. Now we need to decide what kind of icon we're gonna make. That's always the first priority. My advice is look at it by nation, if, you know, the nation that you're working on. Let's say it's um, France and you want to make a democratic one. You can do that. All you have to do is utilize what's in the resources. And, of course, if you're still confused on where to go, there's places you can check out. I have a Discord link to my server. Um... You can pause to actually get the link so that it will help you. It should be unlimited, so you should be able to join. It's a modding server that I created. I'll also leave it actually in the description down below um, if you're interested. As well as the resource to downloading. Um, now let's get back to this. So I'm going to make a democratic one, a democratic icon. However, in order to utilize these... I would highly recommend using blue. I mean, you could also technically use yellow, like if it's like a liberal type of thing. Because I know a lot of mods use liberal for yellow, which is pretty standard, although you can really use whatever you want. Now, as you can see here, I don't know if you can see it because of the selection, but there's blue bleeding outside this thing right here. How do you get rid of that? Simple. You either select it, or you can use the circle select tool, drag, and make sure it's within the gray lines right here. After that, you go to the layer that has the blue, which is this one. As you can clearly see, the blue bleeds. And you go to this thing, it's called, it's basically a mask, or at least a crop mask. You click that, it adds your effect, and there you go. Now you don't, you could technically get rid of it if you want, but I would just leave it alone as is. You don't need to tamper much with it, just so long as it works. Um, as for the other parts of the icon, I will show you. Uh, I do have these assortment of pieces here. There's many of them from different ages, different... Uh, nations. It basically varies. Nothing is in direct order. It even has fictional icons in it, as well as weapons, religious, and countries. Of course, not every country, but I'll expand on that as time goes on. Uh, but if you also have suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Now, let's try flags. So this is going to be a democratic French one, right? Now, you could use this, you could use that, you can make your own, which like I did, I made a Jacobin, I made two variations uh, of Jacobin French flags, which can be classified in a way as socialist 
for some, but that's kind of a gray area. I'm not here to um, argue politics, so I'll leave it at that. But of course, if someone needs to complain, behave in the comments. So, we need to add detail to this flag, right? We're going to do Bevel and Emboss, as well as Contour. Contour helps improve it a little bit. But of course, Bevel Emboss isn't always necessary, but it actually gives you more of a shade. This is how a lot of Hoi Far uh, mods do it, as well as Vanilla, because that's the style of it. It's got like a glare at the top. Sometimes bottom, depending on where you look, but usually it's the top. Drop Shadow, same thing. Pretty straightforward. You can change the spread of it, which thickens the shadow, although I would highly advise not to do this, because making the shadow this thick won't make it look too good. It basically looks like you drew like a thick line around it. Uh, same thing with size. I would maybe, my safe amount for this one, it also depends on the icon size too. Like if it's a puny icon, you really don't want a high spread or size because you need to be able to see it, but you also need to be able to utilize it to the best of its ability based on where it is needed. Like for example, if you do size, this happens. It basically blurs everything out. Although this could be handy, technically, if you wanted to like make it so that this flag only is shining where everything else. But in that case, you would just lower the brightness of the background anyway. So that technically wouldn't matter in this case. But as you can see, if you uncheck, then check, there you go. Your shadows are done. In front of it, let's say we're going to put a ballot box, which should be in somewhere the resource system here. Now these are generic ones, but you can use whatever you want. Like you can even look online and find your own one. But for now, I'm just gonna use this ballot box, simply as an example. You could also, again, you can add detail here, although not all icons may, may typically need it. Sometimes, like this one, I'm gonna drop the amount of shadow because, well, look how strong it is on it. Um, you could also change, I forgot to mention this, you can also change the direction of said shadow and Bevel and Boss, but I would highly recommend being careful with this because I, depending on where it goes, it can even affect the background. Um, so yeah, you can do that, you can add uh, laurels in the middle, you could add laurels on the edges. So let's try to improve it, or unless if you're okay with this icon, that's good too. But, let's say we want to improve the icon. Here's a quick example for you. So you can use the green ones, you can use spike ones, you can use a star, although I think star is highly recommended for communist, socialist ones only. But you can pretty much use it wherever you want, just so long as the intent matters, basically. Uh, one of my favorite and most commonly used laurels here is this one, titled 43 PNG, and laurel 5.png. Also, I forgot to mention, these images, when they're exported, are highly recommended to be in PNG because it is the most transparent asset you can find. JPEG is possible, but less likely than PNG to have those transparencies. That would involve you cutting them out manually via erasing the edges and such. And typically, I don't like to do that because it does actually ruin the quality of it. It just doesn't, it looks so unnatural. So, what I do is, you can add stuff here to the back, you can put it behind the blue background if you want, or just behind the background in general. You can resize it to where you want it. Also, make sure, I would also recommend making it centered, because if it's not centered like this, it could also ruin some of the qualities. Um, sorry about that. In the background, if you heard any noise. So we have... We're going to make it black and white to start off with, so that this way the color can actually come through. 
You could also, there are two ways you can do this. You can do color balance, or you can just select it, and then go to your next layer. Uh, you can increase the size if you want, and just color here. But of course, if you do that, sometimes the edges could be a little too sharp. But like I said, once you have you know the layers that you want like if you want to do this for example and you want to make it you know paler you can do that as well but that's the opacity by the way that's that's what makes it like stand out so like that's high that's low and that's basically invisible you might as well not even make the layer at that point <laughs> but yeah so there you have it that's how you make icons and again like I said before, you can add detail to this. Sometimes it's not noticeable, like right here, if I check and uncheck, you can clearly see that the glare isn't that strong. We can fix that. You can add to here, you can increase the softness, although increasing the softness actually lowers its visibility. And it even shows you in the preview. If you don't want to see the preview, just do this. Or, well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It can be finicky. Um, also, for those of you who want to download Photoshop, uh, I will try to leave a link in the description uh, below. And right now, this is your icon. Here's how to export it now. I'll just show you very quick so that there's no confusion in the comments. I'm going to save it under Focuses, where my custom ones are. So you're going to save as... and PSD always save it as PSD first because you'll preserve the layers and if you want to always come back to edit, edit the thing you can which is pretty cool it's a good asset for you to use so French democracy we'll call it I always underscore yours but you don't exactly have to but when you when you're in game and you're using an ID it could say something like this right here the F and the D could be lowercase and it'll have F R E for the French tag, for example, and then underscore this. That's usually the idea of how focus icons work. Uh, if you want to, next video, I can show you a little bit on interface and maybe a little bit of GUI. Now, GUI is, a little, is an area I'm kind of having a hard time with, but graphical design can be interesting once you put your mind to it. So you're going to save this. It should be somewhere in this folder. And if it's not, you could always either refresh the page or go to where it was last saved. So it says custom focus assets, which shouldn't be in there. You can just drag it from there into focuses. After that, you go to PNG go to custom focuses French democracy and there you have it if you want to view it there you go also there are also these things before I end today's video there is one more tip I should tell you about I usually use 96 ppi these are basically pixels per inch it gives you the more in-depth quality now as good as this icon looks it could technically be slightly better because I usually use 96. I don't use 72 uh, or 76. Basically, 96 gives you way more than what it should. Now, of course, if you're not comfortable with it and you don't want to waste your time with it, that's fine as well. Just so, just so long as it represents it. Like I told people before, the quality typically doesn't always matter, but quality of these icons make it better. So the higher quality, the better icons you make. Um, but the true matter of this is the intent, the direction, and the usage for it. As long as it makes sense, you're pretty much all set. Well, anyways, I hope that helps you. Uh, thank you for watching part two on how to use Photoshop for Hoi4 modding. 
Uh, my next video could be about interface if you want, but I will also leave a poll in my community tab, and I'll link that as well below. If you guys want to see my next tutorial, please, you gotta vote for it. As well as like, comment, and subscribe, as well as hit that bell notification so that this way you don't miss anything new from me and my channel. Have a great day. Gotta gold is out.